And this is the key. If all 50 U.S. states start using gold and silver in place of Federal Reserve notes, the federal government would no longer be able to control the state's money. But they're going to tell you that everything is going to be just fine until it's no longer fine. And you'll end up losing everything you work for. Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. Happy Sunday to all of you. I was doing a little bit of research on gold, ladies and gentlemen, and I came across an article which states that there's another state in the United States that has accepted or passed a bill saying that gold is legal tender. And I'd heard about this here a few days back, but I wasn't sure what state it was. I believe it's Montana, but we'll get to that here in a second. But my question is why? Why this year and this last year, why has there been an emphasis by not only states, meaning states within the United States, but states as in governments and central bank in accumulating gold. If gold is just a yellow rock, as I believe his name is Dave Ramsey, the one that does the envelope system, which I think is a great system, by the way. Uh, but if gold, according to Dave Ramsey, it's just a yellow rock that does nothing. Then why in the world are so many central banks scooping it up like they haven't scooped it up in, in decades, right? Uh, buying it up. Why are countries buying it up like they haven't bought it up in decades? And why is the demand for that yellow rock so strong? Not only among central banks and states, but also among private, what well, they call themselves investors, which I don't believe that gold is something that you invest in something that you use to protect your wealth well here coming from the from the world economic forum ladies and gentlemen here is why so many central banks are buying gold it's really simple it's not difficult to understand whatsoever and ap i thought that from now on you were going to be doing actionable intelligence meaning that i'm going to bring you something in the form of some news that would allow you to prepare better for the future because uh, because that news is like, hey, you better get this. This is going to be in low quantity, etc. We'll get to that here in a minute, ladies and gentlemen, because this is actionable intelligence. We have been faced with the fact that in 2022, central banks across the world bought more gold than I think it was since 1967. Why? Now we have states in the United States that are passing bills to make gold and silver legal tender. Why? And we have even more states that are in the process of introducing and wanting to pass bills to the same effect. Why? That's what I ask. But let's start off with the first question. Why are so many central banks buying gold in 2022? And this article here by the WEF was dated the 10th of November of last year. So it's only a few months old. And I just went ahead and highlighted the reasons. It makes sense. Demand for gold has risen by 28% this year, primarily driven by a flight toward safer assets amid soaring inflation, according to the New World Gold Council report. A significant amount of this demand has come from central banks in recent months. Turkey was the biggest gold buyer in the third quarter of last year they're talking about, followed by Uzbekistan and India. And central banks globally have accumulated gold reserves this year, meaning 2022, at a pace never seen since 1967, when the U.S. dollar was still backed by the precious metals. So even in 1967, ladies and gentlemen, it leads me to believe that countries already knew what was going on. Remember that Nixon took us off the gold standard in 1971, I believe it was? Yes, August 15, 1971. But here in 1967, countries were already accumulating gold, scooping it up. It leads me to believe that even back then, countries knew what was going on except that the population did not have the advantage of social media as we do now to be able to spread the word to the layman, to the regular person out there, so that they can protect themselves. As you can see here on this chart, the world gold purchases in tons by year all the way back to 2010. And you can see that central banks in 2022, uh, right here, this dark blue bar, 
shows that central banks have bought more since 1967. Why do you think central banks are buying? Why do you think Turkey bought 31.17 tons? And I believe this was in the third quarter of last year. Uzbekistan, who never makes the news. This country, Uzbekistan, how many of you even knew that that country existed? But now they're out of nowhere buying gold in in quantity. India buying gold, and they're also scooping up a lot of silver as well. Qatar, Mozambique. Right? Why are all these countries buying gold, ladies and gentlemen? Why, if it's just a rock that has no value? Why? Because they know what's coming. And in a way, that's what concerns me most about reading an article like this, showing that countries are scooping this up like there's none left. They're hoarding it as much as they can. Because it tells me that they know that something is coming, just like back in 1967, when they were doing really big purchases, they knew what was coming down the line two, three years later, and it did. The United States of America defaulted in its contract with the world that it would trade one ounce of gold for every $35, or I believe at that time it was $42, for every $42 that they traded in. Right? So they knew something back then. I believe that they know something now. Something will happen where our standard of living will be reduced unless you have that little yellow rock. That's not worth anything, according to Dave Ramsey. And by the way, I will go ahead and leave the link to all of these sites that I visited so you can revisit them if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Here is just a site that shows all of the states that currently have adopted and passed into law uh, that gold and silver are legal tender. And you can see that they are all in green. And we have one state, Montana, who right now, I believe that Montana just passed it. They have here pending, but I believe that Montana just passed that they are now uh, holding gold and silver as legal tender, which is a great thing. Uh, there's another 23 or so states, I believe, that are in the process of trying to pass a bill, and we'll go over those here in a second. Gold and silver legal tender states in 2023, and it says here that 11 states have already passed bills, as we discussed up there with the green states, and that there are several more that are in the process of doing so. Uh, this shift is rooted in Article 1, Section 10 of the United States Constitution, stating that, quote, no state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender and payment of debts. And this is the key. I hope you're still here. If all 50 U.S. states start using gold and silver in place of Federal Reserve notes, the federal government would no longer be able to control the state's money. Remember, I've always told you that with gold and silver as our currency, as our money, that it would be we the people that have the power but with fiat currency as the legal tender as prescribed by edict by the government it is the government that has the power this here says it plain as day but think about this whatever state you live in you all work within that state and you pay federal income tax through your paycheck and you're still in that state and then your state has to go beg the government for grants to fix the roads, to give money to food banks, for schools, and all this stuff. You already made the money. Why can't you just keep it in your state and take care of your own state? Why, ladies and gentlemen? Because it is called wealth redistribution. The same thing that the government does on an individual basis, takes from some and gives to other, it also does with the states. And the only way that it can do that is if it has control over the currency that we use as money, i.e. money. And here they go over the states again that have introduced this and accepted it into their law. Utah, Louisiana, West Virginia, Arizona, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Indiana, Missouri, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Wyoming. Right? And then they go over all of the states that still have not done so. But we can go over here where we can get a little more hope, ladies and gentlemen. There is still hope. 23 U.S. states move to reclaim gold and silver as legal tender. And it definitely is worth mentioning the states. Like we said, Montana has already shifted. Missouri, Kansas, Oregon, Kentucky, Wisconsin, Tennessee, Iowa, Mississippi, West Virginia, Minnesota, Vermont, 
Thank you, Lord, for having Alaska in here. Alaska, South Carolina, Idaho, Arkansas, Maine, New Jersey. That's a surprise. Arizona and Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way that we the people will be able to control our destiny through the federal government will be if we have control. Again, with real money, i.e. gold and silver, we the people have the power. With fiat currency, the government has the power. All right, I hope I didn't make this one too long, and I hope you got something out of it. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, I like to put away a little bit of silver, even a little bit of gold. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not a financial advisor. But if this is not a clue to you of what's coming down the road, when in 1967, four years before we had a reset, because we had a reset in 1971, but if you see that in 67, central banks around the world and countries were buying gold like crazy, just like they have been in the last year or two or three, if you can't see that and then see what happened in 71, same thing is going to happen again this time around. And the powers that be are preparing for it because they know what's going to happen. But they're going to tell you that everything is going to be just fine until it's no longer fine. And you'll end up losing everything you work for. Just trying to warn you, but you have to do your own homework, do your own research. All right, ladies and gentlemen, having said that, have a great day. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.